Hi guys, it's Anne here, and today's video is my second update for my Pan That Palette for 2021. So I have two palettes that I'm panning. I have an eyeshadow palette and I have a face palette. So let's talk about the eyeshadow palette. The eyeshadow palette is the Carly Bible Deluxe Edition. This is one of my favorite palettes, to be honest, so it's kind of nice to pan this, but obviously kind of sad. But we've got second pan. Yay! I kind of knew this was gonna happen, and I knew it was gonna happen quick. What I'm doing right now is I'm sort of mixing this with this now to start, you know, using some of this. And this is also pretty light, like it's, it's a little too light. I use it sort of like as a base, so after I put on the primer, I'll put this sort of like all over as, as a dusting. I don't feel like I'm very close on these two for some reason. This palette is almost like the opposite of last year. Last year, the like shimmery shades in the NYX palette, I was kind of going through really quickly, but the mattes were really like stiff and really hard to work through, whereas this seems to be the opposite. Um, and I just, maybe I'm using them less, I'm not sure. But this one's also really, really close to pan. pan. You can kind of see it there, actually. I was gonna show a close-up picture, but I don't even think I need to. My goal is to try and hit pan on one more shade on this bottom row and starting next month, so next quarter, I'm gonna start working on this row and see where we can go. I've obviously already hit pan on this one. Um, but yeah, so I'm pretty happy with the progress on this. This shade is also getting a good dip. I think I'll eventually hit pan on this corner, but probably not until summertime. These shades down here, I, I don't know if I've used these ones at all, um, but I have been using these and I sort of use them in the corner. So I'll, I'll try and put in a picture. I think you can see the pattern. Like I can see the pattern is wearing in the corner ever so slightly. <laughs> it's taking a lot longer because um, I normally just use these as like hot, like a inner corner highlight. Um, like today I'm wearing this as like an inner corner highlight and a brow, bo brow bone highlight. Um, it's a really interesting color. But yeah, pretty happy with my overall progress on this so far. And for weights, we are now down to, last month we were at 253, we're now down to 252 grams. So that's one gram difference. It could be a little more than that. So I have to use my kitchen scale to weigh this, which doesn't go anything less than one gram. So we've consistently used at least one gram each month. So I hope to keep that progress up because then that means I'll use 12 grams of product on this, which is probably, Pretty good. I don't know what the size of, yeah, there's nothing, no information here in terms of the size of any of the pans or the whole palette. So anyway, pretty happy about that. So what do we think of this eyeshadow look? Just slight tangent. Um, apparently mint green is the like trend right now. I don't know if I have any mint greens, but I have a lot of teal greens. So this is the teal from the Sugar Pill palette, and then I have Cryosphere sort of dotted on top, and then I have that one shadow from the Carly Bible palette as like inner corner and like brow bone. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll show you a bit of a close up. It looks kind of interesting, but it's also very like quasi 60s, quasi 80 vibes. I was trying to not go full on 60s. I was gonna do like a big black wing and I was like, okay, no, that's straight up 60s. <laughs> but I was just trying, I'm trying to do something different, a little out of my comfort zone. I don't know how bad it looks <laughs> or if it's like passable and I should just kind of keep working on it. Anyway, I've been really enjoying seeing like, I've seen a couple different mint looks and I'm like, man, they look really pretty. Like there was one that, um, oh, I can't even think of her name right now. I'll put her name on the screen because I'll remember it after. She had a really pretty look on her Instagram and I was like, oh man, that looks so pretty. But the girls, the model's coloring was like so different from mine and her face shape is so different from mine. I was like, I don't know if I can pull that off. And then the face palette that I'm panning is the IBY Highlight and Contour Palette. We're so close, guys. We're so close. So on this shade, I'll show you in the close-up. You can definitely see the ring. Like, I can see the ring. I see you. I see you hiding under there. So definitely next month, I, I'm confident I will hit pan on this. I haven't decided yet for this palette. Like, if I hit pan on an item, do I move to a next one? I think because these shades are so different. Um, right now, I'm also using my Butter Bronzer as a bronzer, and this is kind of more of a bronzer type shade. I think I'm just going to continue using this up as much as possible and then maybe in the warmer months when I have a bit more of a tan I might I might shift over to this because it's pretty deep or blend like a couple together and I have used I think this shade a little bit can't remember when I used it but I know I did use this shade so yeah pretty happy with how this is moving along I'm a little disappointed I thought I was gonna hit pan this month but guaranteed next month so there's that 
So last month this was 113.27 grams. It's now 112.8 grams. So that's a difference of 0.47 grams. In total, I've used 1.19 grams of this. So not bad. I, I think I can pick up my pace a little bit on this. Um, I do pretty much use it almost every day. Um, but yeah, pretty happy with the progress on that. But it probably could be a little bit better. So I'm going to keep trying to focus on moving this along. So yeah, that's my update. I find these videos are maybe a little short. I haven't decided. I like to review the palettes or show looks of the palettes that I pick in my like, last year was like my monthly selections. This year it's in my Shop My Stash, but I feel like my Shop My Stash videos are getting really long. So, question to you. I was thinking of maybe using this video to maybe do a bit of a recap of some of the eyeshadow palettes. Maybe not all of the eyeshadow palettes because I, I did review quite a lot last year, but maybe do a quick review of some of my favorite picks or some of my favorite looks of the, the eyeshadow palettes I picked in my most recent Shop My Stash or most recent two because I'll probably have about one to two Shop My Stashes between every Pan That Palette update. Does that make sense? Like. Would it make sense to do some of those little updates or like palette reviews in this video? Just so there's a little bit more interest in this video or do you prefer this one just to be a quick, yep, here's your pan that palette, here's an update, one and done, and then keep any sort of palette reviews in the Shop My Stash. Yeah, I just feel like my Shop My Stash videos are, are really long because I want to talk about all the things. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, I'd really like to know what your thoughts are in terms of what you prefer um, and again what you prefer in length of video too. Uh, I feel like lately a lot of my videos are kind of long and I'm trying to figure out like why am I talking so much? Kind of like right now. <laughs> anyway, I hoped you liked this video. If you did, feel free to give it a little thumbs up down below and if you haven't already, I would love it if you did subscribe to my tiny little channel here in Toronto, Canada. I hope you're doing well and I'll see you sometime soon. Bye.